This is educational code forces from 155 and we're going to solve the second problem that is chips on the board. So let's understand the problem first. So the first thing is uh, we'll be given a n by n matrix like uh, we are given a board and uh, we are given two arrays A and B which is of size n. And our task is to place chips on this board such that uh, the following condition is satisfied for every cell for every cell that is satisfied. What is the condition? There exists at least one chip in the same column or in the same row as the cell. There exists x, y such that there is a chip in the cell and either x equal to y or y equal to j or both. So suppose they are telling that if I am taking uh, this cell, there exists a chip, right? So these brown are chips. So whatever cell I take, the corresponding column or the corresponding row of it should have a chip. If I take this, this is the corresponding column is having a chip. If I take this, row is not having but column is having. If I take this, row is also having, column is also having. So just that whatever cell I take, there should be at least one chip on its corresponding column or corresponding row. Now they are telling that the cost of putting the chip in the cell is equal to AI plus BJ. Suppose uh, 4 is the value they give and uh, 2 is the value in column so the cost of putting in call, uh, cell 2 2 means 4 plus 2. So the cost of putting a chip is 4, uh, 4 plus 2. For example, n equal to 3. This is 3 by 3 and a equal to 1 for 1. Either you can put 1 for 1 here or 1 for here. Here doesn't matter. So let's keep it like row wise. 1 for 1 they kept. b equal to 3 2 2. Column wise also they kept. One of the possible chip placements they kept. So whatever cell you take, column or uh, row will always have that. Now the total cost of placement is, what is the cost of placement here? 1 plus 3, 1 plus 2 means this 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 2 here. This 1 plus 2. So this is the arrangement, they just added it and they are telling that the value is 10. They are asking, what is the minimum total cost of putting the chips uh, according to the rules above? So you need, you can put one or more chips, doesn't matter, but what is the minimum cost? That's what we need to find out. In this case, it's 10. So. If we understand it, like if we want to get a minimum cost out of this array, what is something that we are able to see, right? Uh, can 4 plus 2 and all can come because uh, 4 plus 3 can come first of all. These are all big numbers, right? Uh, for 3, we don't need 4. We already have a minimum number, so we'll choose that minimum number only. And for 2 plus 4, do we need it? No. Corresponding row have one, we'll choose this one only. For this two also, we choose this one only. Here 100 or 1000 or something comes, we don't care because smaller number is here. So always we say that we take minimum of, let's say the row plus the number that is B of zero, let's say B of zero, same thing. Minimum of row plus B of one, something like that, okay? What if, if this is 101, 104 and 101, what do you do? We can't say 101 plus 3, 101 plus 104 plus 2, something like that we can't say, right? In this case, it differs. So what do we do? Instead of earlier, we placed what? 1 here, this here, chips are here. So even if we place on the first row, all the columns are automatically satisfied. Whatever chip you keep, it will be automatically satisfied. So in this case, what do we do? We just take the column wise minimum. So 2 is here. You keep x here, x here, x here. So 2 plus 1 not 1, 2 plus 1 not 4 and 2 plus 1 not 1. So in this case also, it is uh, same. So the chip placement is either row wise you keep the minimum value or column wise you keep the minimum value. Now, since I took, uh, let's say uh, B value is 0, right? If this is A, B, C, sorry, let's take like X, Y, Z and uh, the minimum is this. I'm telling that it is min plus x plus min plus y plus min plus z for b alone. For a what will you do? It is x dash uh, y dash z dash means this is all min a okay min a min a min a and this is min a. This is let's say minimum of b plus uh, x dash plus minimum of b plus y dash plus minimum of z a minimum of b plus z dash instead of doing all of this what is one thing you can do you can take minimum outside right minimum outside means how to do it together minimum a into n there are three times you are doing so n is three here n plus x plus y plus z so this is also valid now i just want to know either row wise minimum into n plus columns all the number of columns uh, b values 
or columns minimum into n plus rows values so either 2 into 3 plus 101 104 101 or something like or 141 or let's say to avoid confusion let's say 2 into 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 or which is minimum 1 into 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 which is minimum out of this find out and just print the result how are we proving it that uh, only that minimum value will take place is if you are able to uh, cross all the rows if you are able to cross all the rows definitely the corresponding cells whatever cell you take will have that value right will have the chip placed similarly if it does not work if this is having a minimum value on column if we place the chips here definitely some row will have a corresponding chip that is placed on a row so that's it we are just taking the minimum value on both sides and trying to see this is just a pattern observation so what did we do i just took the sum of all the elements of a sum two of all the elements then i just sorted to get the minimum value you can just directly take it so what did we do a of 0 into n the first uh, a's minimum value plus b's sum or b's minimum value plus a's sum out of this which is the minimum value you just print it so this is the submission link you can just check it and please let me know in the comments if you have any doubts Thank you, Sharp.